All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're talking about a fig that really gets no attention whatsoever. I don't know, really know anybody that talks about this fig, but it was a fig that was rather, or somewhat popular about 10 years ago on Figs for Fun. And Figs for Fun was a community of fig growers who, uh, you know, some of them were in it for the right reasons. Some of them obviously weren't, but most of the community was really the first generation of online fig growers. And uh, it was really the original community. And they, there was a fig that was found, I don't know exactly who found it, but I know a guy named Paulie made this particular variety quite popular because it did well for him in British Columbia, Canada. It produces some good Braba. It produces an early main crop. But the, the nice thing about it actually is we learned more about this fig as time went on is that it actually was a, uh, you know, a dark skinned white Marseille, which is kind of unusual that a fig would kind of mutate and change so drastically. And all of a sudden the skin would turn very dark. Uh, and so white Marseille, if you guys know anything about that fruit, it's a really nice variety. Um, in fact, it's one of my favorite honey figs. I know it's quite common and you can find it everywhere. It's so cheap. People don't give it any credit whatsoever. But uh, I find it to be way better than Kadota, Dotado, Peter's Honey. You know, all those, those honey figs, it's, it's definitely a standard. Um, I may even, I think, prefer it over LSU Champagne. Um, I know LSU Champagne has rather a short hang time, which is nice. Uh, but in general, I find that White Marseille is just clearly one of the best. But the, the one downside about White Marseille, which I actually have right over here, it's just one tree next to it, um, is that White Marseille is a white fig. And so white figs here in humid places, they get rather ugly. They get a lot of sugar spots and that humidity combined with the, the, the sugar in the fig kind of creates these ugly dark spots on them. And so it's just for that reason, I think maybe a bit of a turnoff. And also these darker figs tend to do a bit better um, with that rain and with that moisture. But way more say is, is uh, I, for my money, I find it has the same exact skin as this. So even though it's a dark fig, you wouldn't know that it has these sugar spots on it. In fact, it's, it's really beautiful. It's like jet black um, with a little bit of red undertones, brown undertones here. Um, I don't know how much of a difference there really is between this one, this Barbalone and White Marseille in terms of flavor, performance, the quality of the skin, et cetera, et cetera. But that's what I wanted to do was grow this fig. And unfortunately, I have not really had much of an opportunity to get an idea of really what are the differences because it's just said to be a, a dark skinned white Marseille. There's gotta be something different about it than just that. Um, and you know, with, with Barb Malone and also white Marseille, because a lot of these trees here I've, I've had planted been cutting them back to six to 12 inches every year and relying on the suckers sometimes to produce fruit. Well, these guys are not good at fruiting from dieback, especially in this lower light environment I have here in my property. You need a lot more light for these guys to reliably set fruit from dieback. And so these suckers cannot be relied upon. There's too much of a hormonal imbalance as well. And uh, maybe if I were to do some pinching a little bit earlier, I think pinching is a necessity with these trees, White Marseille and Barbalone if you're gonna have dieback like that. Uh, but this year we're gonna be bending the branches down to the ground. And so it's gonna be very easy to protect them. We plop them right back straight up in the air and there isn't gonna be this hormonal problem. Uh, you know, we're gonna have great production. We're gonna have a lot of fruits. The fruits are even gonna be, I imagine even better than this in terms of quality, because as we learned this year, the fruits taste better, in my opinion, um, you know, on growth from last year rather than from these suckers. There's something that happens. Now, this is a real beaut here, guys. Out of all the honey figs I've ripened, Zephyro is really the top dog. And so, and this one here is pretty darn close to that Zephyro. I mean, this looks fantastic. Again, I've already said in the beginning of this video that 
it's such an underrated fig, White Marseille, Barbalone. They really are some of the best tasting honey figs. And so this looks so good. Um, the eye is a bit red down there, uh, maybe a bit purple actually. The pulp here looks like it's gonna taste like, like caramel. Uh, there's good seeds in here and you can definitely identify, I wanna show you this actually, White Marseille and Barbalone very easily by the interior because the interior has this whiter interior to it. And as it ripens more and it gets a longer hang time, uh, that whiter color turns to this amber that you're seeing there. But typically it can be a, a rather white and then the seeds are a good contrast on that white. See those brown seeds? So it's very easy to identify white Marseille because of that. Uh, this might be really one of the better looking white Marseilles and Barbalones that I've ripened. And um, I did ripen one though a little bit ago, um, about a week ago, and I was really, really impressed. So let's try this one. This is more ripe, and uh, I think I'll definitely enjoy it more. Oh yeah. That's very, very good for a honey fig, guys. And it's reliably good. Uh, it's gonna ripen at a high cons consistency, high quality at a high consistency. Very, very tasty. So, yeah, I mean, I would just highly recommend that you grow this fig here, guys. Really high sweetness, but it's not like a super sweet fig. And then for me, uh, it has a nice complex flavor to it. There's no berry, there's good figginess, but the sugar is really impressive. It's kind of like a, like I said, kind of like a caramel combined with some honey. And so I really like this one. Again, here it is. I really wish that I've had more experience with this fig because again, it really is so good and it just deserves more attention. I don't think people give this enough credit whatsoever. And you can find this very cheap. There's some more figs on there. And this is only really forming uh, because I did some pinching on the tree. Um, you can see another one down there. Otherwise, I think this tree would have stayed in this hormonal imbalance forever, as it does pretty consistently year after year after getting killed with uh, the cold like that, or even pruning it really hard. This year it took a lot of cold damage. Uh, the leaves are rather interesting as well. Definitely one of the hardier trees I have. And here's White Marseille, you can see next to it and again has a similar leaf pattern but not eh, it's pretty close so there it is guys that's Barb Malone a dark skinned white Marseille and in my opinion definitely in the uh, probably the top two honey figs I've ever eaten so it's a Firo right below it Barb Malone thanks guys Check out that blog, figboss.com, and hit the subscribe button. See you guys soon. Take care.